Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Now, Jarrell Miller will be dropped from his contract with Top Rank. It has been confirmed by Bob Arum that he believes that anyone who takes drugs to get into the ring, he sees that as attempted murder. Now, this is nothing new. Jarrell Miller is a drugs cheat. He has been throughout his career. I mean, let's be real. Jarrell Miller has failed five tests altogether, including his turn in kickboxing. So, he is a renowned cheat. So why did he give him the opportunity anyway? He knew he had failed three tests against Anthony Joshua. So did he not see that as attempted murder? So obviously it's just because it's more personal now because he has failed one on his show when he was supposed to fight Jerry Forrest in a comeback fight after failing a test last year. His second chance given to him by Bob Arum by top rank. So obviously it's going to feel a bit more personal. So Jarrell Miller will be dropped from his contract with Top Rank. This is what Bob Arum had to say. If a fighter takes PEDs, getting ready to participate in a fight, I look at it as attempted murder. So there we go. That is what Bob Arum has had to say about Jarrell Miller. Now, obviously, as I said before, if he was worried about that, then why did he even give Jarrell Miller the opportunity? I'm guessing money, profile, to sell tickets, to sell... I mean, everyone's going to watch, aren't they? I mean, they want to see, is it true? Did Jarrell Miller really cheat? Because we would know. I said in a video building up to Jarrell Miller's comeback before he failed this test that we will see whether he truly was on drugs or not because you can tell by his punch output and his consistency throughout the rounds, throwing them punches. That is why I believe he cheated again because if he goes into that fight with Jerry Forrest and doesn't have the punch output, the stamina that he did in previous fights, then that proves it. That proves that he was taking something in order to maintain the output for the full 12 rounds. It just proves it. So Jarrell Miller found himself in a catch-22 situation. If he takes something and fails, then he's failed another test, his fifth in his career. But if he doesn't take anything and he goes in there and doesn't display the same punch output, the same stanima, then everyone's going to say, okay, he was definitely cheating. So there was no way in this situation that Jarrell Miller was going to win. And I'm not saying we should feel sorry for him because he is the one who has taken banned substances to get in the ring and fight another person that should be on a level playing field. But ultimately, I mean, he was always going to get found out whether he takes something else or whether he gets in there and it doesn't display the same punch output, stanima, all of that that he did previously in his career. So he was always going to get found out. That's what this fight was for Gerald Miller. Let's see if he truly was lying. I mean, he said he was going to come out with this document after the AJ Feld test saying that he didn't take all this stuff. There is a reason for it. Where's the document? There is no ongoing case with that AJ fight. Why not release the documents? He said the same thing after failing against Jerry Forrest. I'm going to come out with this document. We're going to prove it. We're having samples sent off to the lab. What a load of rubbish. Where's the one from the AJ fight? That never came out. He just used it as an excuse, but never displayed that information. And he won't do this time. Gerald Miller is a cheat. That's the way it is. He's just a cheat. That's who he is. And that's who he always will be. He cannot bring himself to get into the ring without any banned substances in his system in order to give him a mental and physical edge. More so a mental, I believe. I believe it's a mental problem with Jarrell Miller. And time's up. Jarrell Miller will not get in a boxing ring again. No one should license him. No one should promote him. Matchroom have slammed the door in his face, and rightly so. Top rank have now slammed the door in his face. Others will follow suit. Who is going to want to work with him now? Especially considering his unbeaten record isn't true. He hasn't won a single fight. He hasn't drawn a single fight, in my opinion. All of them are no contests because he clearly was cheating during that period. So Jarrell Miller is not 23, 24 and 0 like his record states. He is 0, 0 and 0. There should be no contests. Anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on this? Jarrell Miller will be dropped from his contract with top rank. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, guys. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks, guys.